Hey guys, everything new under the sun here. Uh, this is a video about an upcoming project, and uh, I've got a lot of these uh, upcoming projects uh, that I'm thinking about, and uh, I think this is one is going to happen. Um, I just showed you my project with the uh, with the chicken shed, where I need to kind of tear it out and uh, put the roof on it. And uh, to get that one done, I need uh, sort of a new set of power tools, and I'm going to. Um, I'm going to uh, backtrack on what I said a number of videos back a little bit and um, uh, sell my soul uh, as it were. Uh, what I said in another video about my Black & Decker, I have a Black & Decker set with the Sawzall and the Skill Saw and I also have uh, the drill and I just busted my drill, uh, drill and I think I did a video about that. And uh, what I was saying at the time was that I was going to stick with my Black & Decker set and there, I was going to get a new Black & Decker drill and uh, stay with the 18 volt stuff, the 18 volt 9 kind of stuff. But I've since changed my mind and I know I'm, I'm, uh, I shouldn't do this and uh, I should be happy with my set but uh, hold on a second and I'll explain what I'm going to do here. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to upgrade my, uh, my tool set as well as make use of the tools that I still have. Uh, for instance, I have the Sawzall, which you see here. This isn't mine exactly, but it's the Black & Decker Sawzall. Same thing, 18 volt um, cordless, obviously. And uh, it works fine. Uh, you know, it might not be as powerful as a, a Makita or a DeWalt or something, uh, but it works. It saws stuff, and that's all I'm going for. You know, I don't need a lot more than that. It cuts pipes and wood and everything, and it, it accepts all the big blades, and uh, it's it, works well it you know mine looks actually in a lot better shape than this one does actually I just pull this off uh, Google images so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to uh, purchase an old Makita off eBay uh, maybe a, a drill and maybe a couple old batteries and a charger and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those old uh, batteries from that Makita set and I'm gonna convert them into a battery uh, for my uh, sawzall and my skill saw. Now, here's what the batteries look like. Here's the the Makita batteries, and if I bring up the 18 volt batteries uh, for that, let me just uh, make this smaller a little bit so you can see it on the same screen here. So that's what we're looking at. So they're about the same thing now, and they have the the little. Um, uh, jut outs things here that you know slide into the the back of the tool obviously and let me uh, minimize that a little bit here and um, you know so obviously they they slide in in the back of the tool here um, and the battery sits uh, right here basically and so they have a similar sort of, sort of sliding mechanism that they go into obviously the Makita slides in from the front and the, the black and decker from the back, it doesn't matter. What I'm thinking about doing is basically seeing if the Makita, the Makita ones will actually slide into the back um, of the tool here and whether it will hold, I don't know if the same width, it's probably not the same width, I'm going to try that first um, but then if that doesn't work what I'm going to do is um, take the old batteries and cut out a spot in the bottom of them uh, you know, take the top off, take out the NICADs, because the NICADs are beat. They're, they're hardly holding the voltage anymore, and they certainly don't have capacity anymore. Uh, they're just, they're four, four or five years old, and they're, you know, at end of life for sure. So I'm actually going to uh, cut out the back here um, enough so that I can actually slide one of the Makita batteries right into the bottom of it. Now it's going to look like a big, uh, ugly wart on the bottom of it. Uh, you know, as long as it uh, locks in place, uh, it doesn't really matter. You know how it looks. I can I could probably do it even better. Um, maybe by um, uh, maybe just taking this whole base part right off because you see the screws there. There's, I think there's five or six screws on top of it. I could take this base off and just keep this part that snaps into the tool, and then have the Makita over here actually, um, you know, cut out a part here with my little. Uh, what's it called? The Rotor Rooter uh, Dremel tool. It's not, I don't have an official Dremel tool, but you know it's your cheap, no-name Dremel tool. And uh, drill out a part there for it to slide into, 
um, and uh, then it would act like a kind of a, a similar size battery. Probably it might even be thinner actually because these are the three amp hour ones and uh, the one that I, well, I probably get off eBay uh, are going to be the 1.5 hour ones that are about half the, half the height. So that, that is my plan and I'm going to, um, so I should have that, um, I'm thinking maybe, uh, let's see, mid-December, January, I'm going to do that project and um, I'm going to uh, videotype it obviously so that uh, uh, you can all see how that uh, goes. I think it should be fairly straightforward. They're both 18 volt, you know, there's nothing there to change. All the wiring is here. Um, obviously, you see here the connections. Um, I'm not sure what these look like. These look very similar though. You see the uh, yellow part there. Um, it has the same sort of um, uh, metal connectors obviously that uh, plug in and nothing's going to be exactly the same. But um, all, all that being said, you know, it, it is just a battery. It's got uh, a positive and neg negative. It's 18 volt. After that, it doesn't matter. As long as, as long as I get this connected up fine in the bottom here, um, so I'll sacrifice one of them um, to play with and if it works I, I could even sacrifice two of them with the uh, two old uh, 1.5 amp hour batteries and uh, have two batteries there um, and what I can do is if these batteries uh, just slide in here just as if it were a regular mount um, then what I can do is I can just put them on a Makita charger and charge it up and I'll, I'll be fully converted over to lithium ion and uh, and a Makita brand and these even the old lithium ions uh, should hold a charge uh, better than the NICADs in general they'll last a bit longer and and then I can I'll be able to you know if I buy a new battery I, I could even get you know say a 3 amp hour battery like it's showing here um, I think the stock ones uh, of the Black & Decker are 1.5 amp hour um, and I think you can get aftermarket ones that are maybe two or three, uh, but you know it's like a sixty, hundred bucks for one of them. And at that point, I might as well spend on sixty or hundred bucks on a lithium ion, which is going to last me longer. And it's these batteries are so much lighter, way lighter than the NICADs. So that is the that is the plan. Now, the other plan is to take the bottom of a, a Makita drill. Let's see if I can find some images here because I want to show you what what can be done now if I get an old 18 volt Makita drill let me just uh, type in 18 volt 18 V now I want to find uh, one there's none here I'm looking for maybe like a, an image of a used 18 volt. Alright, let's use this one as an example. So you look at this one and uh, so if I get a used set, one where the you know the drivers all beat up or whatever, what I could do is actually just cut uh, the bottom mount off and then I have a mount that's pre-wired for to accept the battery. <clears throat> I could then just drill this uh, bottom, just saws it all, saws all it right off here um, and just use this bottom piece <clears throat> as the um, Makita battery receiver and then just drill or uh, uh, glue that in uh, with epoxy into the bottom of uh, the old the old battery here so just glue it right into the bottom and then I'd have a receiver for the Makita battery to go directly into and then I have a completely converted uh, old Black & Decker set which works perfectly fine uh, I don't use the Sawzall and the skill saw a ton uh, of course maybe if I had a good battery I would use a lot more um, but I do use it from time to time. And the nice thing is that for a DIY or for a home user like myself, uh, the lithium ions uh, are able to sit around for longer and keep their charge and not get memories on them like NICADs. So if I'm only using mine once a week or once every two weeks or something like that, and maybe not at all in the winter, then it's not going to bother them too much uh, being lithium ion. Just better, a little better technology. Uh, they last a bit longer. They, they deal better with... Uh, sitting there not being used a bit so it's even better for for the uh, the DIY homeowner so that that's my second uh, second option there um, and I think that'll work well even if I only have one battery I have a skill saw and a sawzall you know 
I'd probably only be using one in a project, one or the other, the skill saw or the sawzall. So having just one battery that accepts uh, the, the Makita uh, would be totally fine there. But I, I'm really thinking um, that this makes uh, sense. And um, what it does is it, it affords me, the, and I said I wouldn't do this uh, before, but it affords me the ability to um, then get into the Makita set of tools um, slowly and you know buy some used ones whatever and and then I have uh, access to a, a massive lineup of Makita tools 18 volt tools they have I think 60 plus tools that you can get for 18 volt Makita stuff um, they're sticking with the 18 volt batteries they've got 36 volt um, uh, 36 volt battery uh, tools now and they actually went to a 36 volt battery um, but they're actually back checking on that and what they're doing now is they're just uh, they have a connector that goes on 36 volt tools which you know you can get a full size skill saw for example similar to the to one that you actually plug in um, and that runs off 36 volts you know, because you know, the motor draws a whole pile more amps to, to spin that you know whatever it is 10 inch blade or uh, 7 inch blade or whatever it is um, and so what they do is they put uh, these two batteries side by side and so they run the, the 18 volt batteries in series there to get your 36 volts out of it. So they, they're really being smart about it. They're, uh, they're not changing their batteries. They're staying with the 18 volt and just making them work for the bigger tools. Um, so well with the, the Black & Decker, you know, I can't really get them. They don't sell Firestorm anymore. Um, for Black & Decker stuff, they're selling all lithium ion 20 volt stuff now. Um, and I, you can't really get these uh, older tools other than on, on eBay. You'd, you'd have to get up, go up to the lithium ion. So, and to replace these, you know, that'd be uh, two hundred dollars, you know, at least a hundred bucks per per tool if I wanted to replace these. And there's nothing wrong with my skill saw; works great. And nothing wrong with my sawzall. My sawzall and my skill saw actually almost look brand new compared to this, which is just an image off you know, Google Images. They almost look brand new. So it makes a lot of sense to attempt to convert them and I think it'll make a great a great video I think a lot of people may uh, um, be able to take advantage of, of that and do it themselves there are other videos of people taking the old 18 volt batteries and uh, switching them uh, to lithium ion uh, convert 18 volt NICAD to lithium so there's a lot of people doing this, and uh, let's see, <laughs> this guy had the same idea that I did. Um, that's actually a, a really good idea. Oh, that's on YouTube. So a, a guy has done a similar sort of thing. Uh, this I'm not sure what this would be for. That's not a Black & Decker, um, but that is an interesting thing. But there are guys, obviously, who are who are kind of swapping out um, the, the batteries in, in their old NICAD uh, setups uh, for lithium ions. Yeah, but that... You know, you could take all the the batteries out, uh, maybe like uh, this one down here, and uh, replace and you know, purchase lithium ion or open up a lithium ion battery. But my purpose here is to not wreck a Makita battery because I want to be able to use that Makita battery as a you know a second or third battery for um, my other Makita tools as as they as I uh, grow out that side of the set. So I don't want to wreck the batteries. I just want a battery that just fits in there, just as if it was some any other Makita tool and just run off that. Like I say, it's 18 volts, so it doesn't really matter in terms of um, battery uh, voltage. It will just uh, work, basically. And uh, I'm certainly not wor worried about any uh, warranties being voided in this project. So uh, look for this. Um, I really think this will help. It's a, it's a bit of a twist on the... Um, uh, you know, how to upgrade your systems to uh, lithium-ion. Do you go and buy a new tool set? Often it's cheaper even to buy a whole new tool with a battery than it is to buy a new NICAD battery for example um, you know for a hundred bucks to get a NICAD battery I could get a tw uh, 20 volt lithium ion uh, driver and battery and charger for the same price or, or maybe a little bit more so you know a lot of people are just doing that but I think in this case uh, to make use of my old tools I think this is really going to pay off so um, I'm going to try and get that one out uh, I'm thinking January sometime but that should be a fascinating uh, conversion. At least it's going to be an attempted conversion. And I have nothing to lose because 
my old batteries uh, are wrecked anyways. Um, so I think this would be a, a really fun project and a really great way to extend the functionality or extend the usage of my old Black & Decker tools. And, you know, as they fail one by one, if they ever do, um, then, you know, I'd maybe replace that with a Makita uh, a unit, you know, when I have more time and money. Uh, well, more money. Um, but on the other hand, if I I've already have some, you know, my key batteries, then I can pick up uh, used tools uh, for cheap, you know, where you might pay $200 for a Makita Sawzall, you know, I could probably pick up a used one off eBay or wherever, uh, you know, Kijiji or something, you know, for 100 bucks. It, you know, if it's all beat up, doesn't matter. You know, if the, if the tradesman uh, upgrades his Sawzall and there's nothing wrong with the, uh, you know, the old Makita Sawzall, uh, then I'll, I'll take it, you know. If he upgrades to uh, Milwaukee or something, um, then I could get a good deal on that, and I'd have a full set of batteries ready to go, and uh, and be able to upgrade uh, my my tool set one one piece at a time as I need it, basically. And that's kind of a way to ease into a kind of a new combo set. So I just uh, thought I would uh, share that with you, and uh, I'm looking forward to this huge. So. Uh, uh, look out for that in the next uh, next month or so, and and uh, I'll, I'll try and get it up uh, as soon as I get more information, and, and I'll, I'll pass it on to you for sure.